Generic greetings and welcome to a game I haven't played in quite some time. Admittedly out of context, that wouldn't narrow things down any. However, in this particular case, obviously we are talking about Mashinki, a railroad building game where you have trains and all of that good stuff. So I thought I would change the situation and try this thing again. I haven't played it in any great depth for, I'm going to wage it around about a year and a half, maybe close to two years now. So I've been keeping an eye on it, I just haven't played it. So um, I thought I would change the situation, as I said, and this is the end result. We're going to give it a and jump in and either I'm gonna not remember anything and a lot of things will have changed in the first place so playing it blind is going to be interesting by the way today's beverage is a nice cup of green tea so let's go to new game and this is the default options I guess we'll say change the randomization seed thing and uh, start the game everything else is on default so uh, early steam age this is our quest and subsidies uh, you can see we have blah blah our engineers have said to close new developments in the steam engine being fueled by latest research and planned opening the first foundry in the region so Basically, we need to invest 100, looks like planks, and 100, I'm guessing that's coal, and then we go to the next era. I'm aware that I believe there's five eras now, which is pretty cool. Uh, so we'll say, yeah, fine. We've got Welcome. This is a tutorial. This is how to. Welcome to Mashinki. You are the owner of a tiny transport company. You succeed. You have to build tracks, research, uh, buy less vehicles, etc. So, yeah, click the OK button to confirm, and we now gain um, uh, 10 generic units of currency. Fine. And uh, it's now telling us how to move around, so scroll all around yeah it's okay it's just telling us how to control stuff which we're aware of uh train editing we can do from the bottom there yeah that's fine we now got stamps uh to use it go over to here which i believe is space yes and um, let's put that on the top left there we got stamps and ah so there's loads of like stamps in it so we got a clover leaf double junction we've got junction for single lines um let's utilize some more screen real estate there we go and you can create new ones as well cool uh what have we got here we've got ipswich we've got paisley we've got leeds and liverpool uh, what I'll do is I'll have oh, on uh, St. David's we'll have a line going from some towns so we'll probably use oh you've got terminus there as well so terminus for double I'll go for um, probably a terminus for single there's no real reason why we can't do that and then we'll place this because this is a uh, this is a uh, what's the term station it's a station we'll place it there and that should hopefully uh, connect it up so there you go so we'll collect some rewards and now it wants to uh, build a first line between uh, st david's and paisley so let's do just that so go over to the track section go over to station and we'll place it in here close to the town the station catchment radius is only two tiles you might improve it later using station upgrades so we'll just place it along the side like so and there we have a station paisley similar sort of arrangement on the other side there we'll go to tracks and then we will go do some clicky clicky draggy draggy and then we will build oh you have to build an engine shed that's correct so we'll place that we'll rotate it around and it'll go there right so we now have a depot we have our two stations let's go to engines we're gonna get a 260 porter top speed is 40 miles an hour up to 168 tons power is 260 horsepower operating cost is one generic units of currency weight itself is 55 tons okay so we'll buy one of those and we need to then add some wagons to it so we've got the standard pullman carriage which is capacity eight the weight is 15 then 16 in brackets i'm guessing that means laden and unladen so yeah it's 16 tons when you have eight people on board so a ton of people sims things like the wrong hoffer which is 15 tons uh, but it's uh, 29 when it's full of sawn timbers so there you go so one two three three yeah it's in three so that's fine so done You've built your first railway line. Oh, huh, well, I guess I guess that's the end of the video. We're, we're done, I guess. Uh, so we will uh, click this to start it. Uh, this allows you to add the orders to your train. And that lists your ride and that does that. Okay, so if I just click start, will it work? Because I distinctly remember putting orders into the train and loading and unloading. And it looks like it is. Let me go to the uh, beautification uh, button there and <laughs> put it to that mode. Let's collect these resources. And first passengers, a unique opportunity for the company. Uh, transport 50 passengers to gain 100 generic units of currency. Anyway, there's our train coming out. So it looks like it is automatically calculating what it should do. So it's going to go to Paisley first because it's closer and then to St. David's. What I'm going to do though, I'll say station there and then station there. Just because if we then add something else onto the line, like Leeds for example, I don't want it to be chaotic and go all kinds of wrong. So there we go right that is now working and speaking of leads we can probably connect up say leads and liverpool together i think we can let's go over to that we'll go to the build mode 
over to station and we'll place it in this corner here we'll just extend it a little bit to there i'm gonna drag this and go into that section oh perfect straight line and you may notice there's no signals on here uh, there's a reason why i like sydney's railroads and that's because it is <laughs> automatically it automatically generates the, the, the signals, which I um, much prefer. Anyway, um, so we've got these in. I mean, obviously, things like. Um, uh, well, there's many other games. Factorio. Um, yeah, Railroad Tycoon. Many, many, many other games. Um, where you place these uh, yourself. Like, if we place one in the middle there, that is. Uh, we wouldn't want to do that, actually. You really wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> Because it would mean there's no passing point and it's all kinds of problematic. Anyway, we're not going to have more than one um, on this line anyway, so we don't really need to worry too much about that. Let me just place this in here and then we'll get some engines for her. Once again, we'll go for one, two, three. And then we'll say for this one, orders go to Leeds and then go over to Liverpool. Go over to Liverpool. There we go. And start that off. Right. So that is now probably doing its thing. Yeah, there we are. Nice trees. Oh, huh, there's also some like uh, ones here. It's, is it like it, it feels autumnish? I wonder if the season's in it now. It does feel autumnish. I'm glad to see the performance increase as well. Uh, when I played it last, it ran terribly, which was um, a cause of great frustration, getting only about 30 FPS. But anyway, you can see this train is now coming in, and it will stop and then gather. How many people is there? Four waiting near Leeds. Now, I think you can upgrade your station. Yeah, you can get expansion. So waiting room, which is loading speed increase and extra capacity. We oh, it increases the catchment area as well. Well, we'll do that. We might as well increase that. Oh, and then you actually have to physically place it. Let's place it in there. And oh, cool. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. And it increases the footprint of the station. Train terminal station. Train station. Yeah, oh, that's nice. I very much like that. Uh, we're going to do the same over here. Uh, I mean, it does cost money, but I think it is uh, worth it. And the waiting room can go in... Um, eh, be a maverick and place it at the back there. Oh, I like that. Mm, oh, it's glitching out a little bit. Eh, it doesn't matter. Right, so that's in, and that increases the catchment area. So now, oh, and that, I'm guessing that means one upgrade. So yeah, we're getting more people going to these stations. So that's going back and forward. You can see how much money... I think that's how much money we're making. I would assume that is the case, but I don't really know. Oh, why have I accidentally stopped the train? Sorry. Continue on. Um, money... Mm, minus one. I'm guessing when it gets there, though, it'll tell us just how much uh, we are making or not making. Right, okay, so we are now on to 10 out of 50 passengers. We have a train going from St. David's over to Paisley and from Leeds to Liverpool and obviously back again. So there we go. That's now going to drop people off. And will we make some money? And yes, there we go. Transport plus four and operating cost is one. Right, excellent. That is underway. Uh, we can also uh, go on it as well. So we'll click on that. We'll click on the circle and... Oh, I guess you have to keep that open. There you go. So, there. So you can switch between the different carriages. Like so. No people on it, though. And you can switch between the different areas as well. Oh, look at that. You can look in. And <laughs> cool. See all the workings. Blow the whistle. <laughs> Hang out the side. There you go. Cool. Yeah, that, that's good. It's, uh, yeah, it's not a bad looking one, though. Quite nice. Excellent. Right, so that's on the go. Shame there's no people. I mean, the cities do look devoid of, well, life. You can hear people, though. You can actually hear horses and carts and things like that. Uh, transport fever has um, people wandering around, horse and carts and stuff. It would be nice uh, to see it added in this uh, game at some point. Anyway, so we now have a line there and a line there, and there's no reason why we couldn't probably build another station in Paisley. We'll double, double track it, essentially, because I think you can double track it. Um... We'll double track it to there, and I'm hoping I can get around this corner. We cannot. So that means deletion of things. So delete that, and that, and all of this, and get rid of the depot. Can't get rid of the depot. That's a problem. Um, I'm guessing that's not a track thing. That's a just straight delete thing. Yes, it is. Right, so we'll place another depot, because we do need a depot place one in here out of the way that's fine and then from this section we want to go over to Leeds and that will require us to have hang on let's just click and drag 
Oh, I don't like that. It's a shame. But anyway, needs must. Uh, we'll have that in there and then that in there. And that now says it's all clear. You can see that is showing red to say basically you cannot go on this line. That's what that's saying there. Okay, that's fine. So we will have this also connect up from here to... Ooh, good grief. That really doesn't want to do that, does it? Um, I could build a depot. I could just use that depot there, couldn't I? Yes, I could. So engines, porter, uh, wagons, one, two, three, pullman, orders, there, and then there. And you can see that is just classed as one station, not two next to each other. And then we'll start that. It will then come out. This is green. It is saying it can go out. Um, oh, first passengers. We have uh, done that quest, so we can now gain generic units of currency, uh, 100 units of. Right, so that is working. That's transporting there. That is going to get extended. Uh, we'll have a waiting room in there. I say I don't know if uh, I don't know if it getting extra houses matters. I don't know. Anyway, I'll have to read the documentation on. So that's going to go down to there. You can see that is now red on both ways. It says you cannot go ahead and you cannot go there. So the way it's working is just saying is the next section clear? This section is not clear. This is going to come along. That section is clear so you can go in there. This one it's saying you can't go there but this is all fine. However, once that moves off, that is saying the next section is clear, so that'll move off. That'll then go green, and the signals do actually change. These, um, what are they called? Sophomore towers, I think? Semaphore towers? Uh, hang on. Uh, Semaphore towers, yeah. That's fine. Uh, and you can see this is green, so this has come along, and that's all clear. Right, excellent. So that is now underway. And we need to then focus on our finances, actually. So let's have a quick look. Finances, balance, uh, minus 56. So we, we're not making uh, a great amount of money, but we are making some... Uh, well, sorry, <laughs> I should tr uh, try that again. We are making money, but net is reduced uh, just because we've been spending, essentially, haven't we? Um... So, we've also got these forests, we've got coal mines, we've got the tool works, and we've got Ipswich. So, I think we'll connect up Ipswich to here because that's how you gain your money, and then you can transport other things. Now, the problem with Ipswich is that we have this sort of bit here that I want to connect to. So, what I'm going to do is uh, go over to the land. What's that? Is that, is that road? That is road. Um, I think there is a... I think there is a plan to add... Uh, Cars and stuff in it. Ooh, dearie me. Um, uh, can we just... There we go. And, uh... Eh, good enough. Good enough for government work. Right, station. Um, Bosh, straight along to there. From here. I'll run into there. Okay, good. And that is quite a distance. So what we'll do is about the midpoint, which is sadly where this sort of knuckle is. We'll have to come along here. And we're going to connect it up to there so we can have like a turning, uh, sorry, like a passing point. And that means I have to play with signals. Oh, golly. <laughs> okay. Let's place this in. Actually, like, like that. That's quite nice. So there's a depot for, for this. I want one there. I want one there. For this, we'll have to change it so that way, that way, that way, that way. I have no idea if that is correct. Uh, actually, I should probably check the stamps. How's that got it laid out? It's got it laid out exactly how I've got it laid out, actually. Yes, it does. Which doesn't mean it's right, it just means it's right for the stamp application, not maybe the application that I've uh, done, uh, utilise it for here. Anyway, we will find out. Uh, one, two, three, Pullmans, start that off. Uh, we should probably give it some hors d'oeuvres um, there and then back to there. And I am going to add another one. The whole point in this was to add another one to see if it worked perfectly fine. Well, obviously, we are going to say um, there and then there, but it won't leave the station until... Oh, uh, uh, that's a problem. I've done that wrong. Uh, remove. Hang on. Where's the remove? Remove. One, two. Remove. There we go. Right, sorry. Uh, from this one. Now, nah, that's right. So, orders. There. 
and then there start that go down we'll see that uh, we have that leaving and then soon as it passes there this should technically open up because that I believe has its own signal built in yes it does you can see the uh, thing there saying is it clear or not as soon as it passes this section we'll see that tower move oh, oh it's a shame I thought it was going to slowly go up and we have a little like a little click that you get off it but no it just flicks up ah such disappointment much regret right okay so that is working that is working i'm pointing at the screen but you can't tell i should probably use the mouse that's working that's working that's working that's working and that's working so basically all of the all of the cities are um being well they're all working which is good so from here i will uh extend the station because that seems to be uh the way forward there we go and it's just it increases the load and unload speed so why would you not use it why would you not have it one there one there one there one there and over here as well ipswich we will that's not ipswich that's well it technically is ipswich where i'm clicking on the wrong thing uh waiting room will go in um there why not Let's see if that connects up. Oh, that does connect up quite well like that. Okay, good. So that's now working. That's working. I'm just going to see if this uh, functions. So this should stop. It is on red, so that will stop. Yep, yeah, and then this is going to come down. It's going to hit... Uh, what's this here? Subsidy, progress. Oh, you, if you get one more train, I get uh, some money. This is coming down because it's saying that is clear, that's clear, but this isn't clear. So it's going to come along. It's going to... This is going to stop at that point because it's saying, no, ahead is not clear. And please stop. It did stop. This is good. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, kind of bad. That will now go ahead. Yes, because it can get up to that one, but then it can't go any further forward. It works. Um, it just works. Right, so delivery of logs. We, uh, yeah, let me choose myself. I'm Jack, someone I don't care about. Deliver 100 logs. No problem, Jack, someone I don't care about. So, we have uh, one, two, three forests there. And we need to deliver that to the sawmill. And the sawmill is there. That's the closest sawmill near Paisley. So, delivering them logs to there is going to be a bit of a monumental task. We could, if we wanted to, put these logs onto this section and then bring it down. But that's already a fairly frantic line. So, I'm going to build my own um, freight line, essentially. That's all it's going to be for. Um... And we will then connect it up to these anyway, so it's it's all going to be in um, it's all going to be used, so we don't need to worry about that. So we'll connect that up to there, and we will go over to here and do the same thing. We'll put it on the other side, uh, we'll put it down to there, and sadly we're going to have to crush all this guy's crops again. But there you are. Uh, we'll go over to there, and that is now connected up. I will have to put in multiple towers and passing points, I think. Um, Where's about the mid-ground? The mid-ground is around about there, so we'll sort of spur that off a little bit like so, like so, and then we'll come along, and then back into there. That's about the right length, I think, and then once again, we're going to go for um, what I've done over here, because that does seem to function. Well, it's functioning there, so that is fine. Um, so where was it? It was there. There we go. Right, so uh, that's in. We will then place this in. I think there is fine. Engines, we'll go for the porter. We do have the 460 Baldwin, but that does cost some timber, which we, we do have some of that, but we're just going to get the porter. In terms of the wagons, we need to put in the uh, Strodinger, I think it is. Something like that. Uh, capacity is seven logs. We've currently got eight over there. One, two... It's fairly... Mm, it's fairly big. We'll put three in, and that's going to be... What's the speed on this one? Um, probably not much. Overall weight is 97 tons, or 118 fully laden. Is that correct? Yes, it'll be about right. And we will say orders. Once again, we'll say from there over to there, and start. There we go. So that should now be functioning. Um, however, what is a problem is the lack of money. <laughs> we don't have a lot of cash. We have, uh, in fact... Uh, 637 but we do have oh, a subsidy for uh, on at least six trains we'll get 25 there and this guy will we slowly working on that we also now have a one for coal as well so it says deliver 200 units of coal and that is to deliver to the tool works yeah so the tool works takes the sawn planks which we are producing in here 
Oh, but we've also got a toolworks near Paisley, so that's the one that's going to get um, custom because, well, there, there is a lot better than going around there. So, yes, we need to send over some planks and coal, and that gives us two plank tokens and one plank, sorry, and one coal token rather than the raw uh, stuff. I'm guessing it is just called, what is it called? Uh, doesn't say. Just reward. Just reward. Okay, that's fine. Right, that is underway. Let me double check our balance. Balance is increasing. Yeah, so we are we are making money, I think. Hang on. Annual. Huh. Reduction. Balance. Minus 903. Uh huh. But I'm guessing. Yeah. Vehicles bought. Vehicles bought and infrastructure bought. It's infrastructure, but if you look at what we're actually producing, we should be okay. We should be alright. Um, right, is the... Oh! Uh, oh! Oh, 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 oh dear. Um, that, 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 that's happened. Right, that, that's a bit of a problem. So, we have a bit of a standoff here. We have two trains that want to go past. Oh. Ipswich and Paisley. Yep, understandable. And this one? Ipswich and Paisley. Reverse it. So I'll reverse that train and I'll get rid of that signal because I think that's what's caused it. That'll turn around. That'll head off. Yeah, that's, that signal's caused that. Right, we need to dele delete this signal then. There might be a... There will be a solution, but as I've mentioned previously... Whoops. <laughs> signals are... My kryptonite, really. Right, let's see if that fixes the problem. Because now this is the section of track it follows. So that can now... That shouldn't happen. See, this, this has a similar thing. But there's only one train going from Leeds over to Paisley. So we'll never get that bumping into another train. Yeah. The problem is that... See, this is red. That will only go green. Let me max speed out when this train goes. Let's see if what I've just said is correct. Yes, it seems to work. Okay. Uh, it says a train 6 can't find a route to its destination 2, so I'm guessing that is the same sort of issue. What? What? I am confused. <laughs> um. So it says train 6. There and there. Its next next destination is straight ahead. That is clear. Oh! Ah! ah okay. Um. It might it just, just might be a me problem. Um. There we go. <laughs> At least I knew how to fix it. Um. Right. So that's now working. Yes. So it should be two that way. Yeah, that, oh, yep, yep, yeah, yeah, right, good, working. So, uh, in terms of progress for logs, that is uh, progressing. In terms of uh, moving these logs up to there, that is not progressing. So we will hopefully resolve that by using a stamp this time. Stamp, we want a terminus double. We want to rotate it round, and we want to put next to the tool works like so. There we are. So, this means that... Okay, brain hurt. Oh, is that if is that a follow-on signal? Basic signal. A follow-on signal. A uh, chain signal is what I meant to say. Okay. Um, I, I don't really understand what's going on this. I'm I'm just not going to worry about it. I'm just going to connect it up. Uh, it looks like it goes in there and out there. Is that the case? Is that what I'm reading? In here and in there. And then you go out this one. I'm pretty confident that's what I'm seeing there. 
Okay, so we'll do that. And signal can go there because only one train is going to be going from there to there. So let's put that in. Let's put said train in by placing that in here. Engines Porter. This time for the wagons, we're going to get the Ronghofer. One, two, two. The, the distance is so minimal that. Um, oh no, it only carries. Oh, it's only seven though. Do I want to get more? Do I want to carry more? Um, go on then. And orders. There. Back to there. Start that. Go. Let's see what happens. We also now need to, uh, need to do this and. Because of the way I've connected it up, that's going to be a nightmare to deal with. Because I have to bring the coal in here, into there. Which isn't a problem. In fact, that needs to go probably along here and past. No, I'll probably just bring it straight down. Although we don't really have the money to do that. We'll see. We'll see what happens. That should hopefully fill up and then turn round. It is filling up. And, yeah, we do have seasons. Look at the snow on that. <laughs> nice. And then it's moving on. Right, so that's uh, that's working. What can we do in terms of upgrades? Extensions, you've got an employee quarters. Um, increased production. Uh, we've got a toy shop, which is uh, just make money directly in the storage. We don't really need any of it at the moment. Maybe employee quarters would be nice, but I don't think we need it. Um, right, so... That's working, that's working. Let us get, then, this coal mine connected up. Station. Doesn't need to be massive. And... We'll do that. And we'll do that. Like I say, there's only going to be one going along this line. Although, I might place that there as well, knowing that we're going to bring this one into there. So, question is, do I want to place a one on here? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Place it. Um, perfect. Pretty much what I wanted, just so we can then connect up to the other stuff. Right, so we want engines. We'll get the porter once again, and this is going to be a Talbot car, which is classy six, and we'll go for three of that. They seem to that seems to be the the ratio of choice. And start. Let's see if this all kinds of break it breaks. Um, hang on, what I want to do as well is pause it. Ah, damn it. Too late. I wanted to see how this is working, because some of those are chain signals, I think. But it seems to be functioning. So this should now be producing. Um, the question is... Money. How much am I making or losing? That is working quite well. That's going to hit past. As soon as it trips that signal, this should then be allowed into the station. Yes. That's exactly what's happened. Good. Right, so we've got all the cities connected up. We've got the coal mine connected up. And we have also the sawmill with, obviously, the uh, forest over there as well. So, what we want to do is then get more forests. But I'm very concerned that I'm probably... I'm not losing money. Station income is 478 there, but the fuel is 76 and loan share with 39. So we're talking about 110, um, but we are gaining um, 400 and odd. Obviously, the balance has been reduced, but that is also taking into account the uh, infrastructure, which is 1,217, so, and also the vehicles is 401. Um, what else have we got on here? We've got uh, other lists there showing the trains, uh, the replacement option, we've got stations, what's happening there, yeah, different uh, depots we have, we've got the industry and what produces where and where it goes, towns and news, which is not Right, so that's upgraded, that's upgraded. Do we want to upgrade this? Uh, extensions waiting room increases the capacity and loading speed. 
well, we don't care about loading speed because we are unloading. Whereas the freight station is 200% loading speeds. Uh, it does say loading speed. I don't know if it means loading and unloading. I would perhaps assume so. Maybe assume wrongly. I don't know. Anyway, look at that. We can see these are coming in. So that's going to go to there. This is going to go into that one. This will will be able to go, actually, once it's unloaded because this is clear. It just means that that can't go there. Ah, very nice logic. How are we doing for the coal? Coal is nine. And we carry 18 there, so is that about right? By the time it generates more, I think it'll be about right. I'm hoping the supply um, is calculated um, and it sort of ramps up production for that. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe we'll never know. Right, so that's working, that's working, that's working. Uh, what do we need to do? Extensions? We don't need freight station. Restaurant would be nice. In uh, capacity and income uh, increase would be very welcomed. However, that requires 100 logs. Okay. Hmm. Do I want to be dealing with that at this stage? Probably not. Delivery of logs, 37 out of 100. Not too bad. Uh, we've got our coal, 12 of 200. So we need to get more coal and we need to get it now. Mm, so I think that coal mine connected up to here would be reasonable. However, that's also going to cost me a lot of money. So let me go to station. Station runs across there. How much would this cost me? Not a terrible amount, actually. 65 to there. Right. I'm just hoping that I can buy another train. Okay. Let's go for the depot. 40 wagons. Three. We will give it the order to go there. Then, or actually, we'll give it another one because this is quite a distance now. And we'll start that. And we'll see if that is any better. Uh, what year? What are we on? Uh, August the 20th, 2019? No. Uh, <laughs> that's the build number um, when it was uh, compiled. Uh, we are on uh, the 30th of March. And yes, look at the seasons changing. That's nice. That's coming through there. Sweet, yeah. That is working. That is going to stop there until it trips that, which then says go ahead. Yes, all the signals seem to be functioning uh, perfectly acceptably. That's not a thing. Uh, and they are having a bit of a train drag race. <laughs> uh, see, what we need is a game called... We need World of War Trains. That's what we need. Uh, <laughs> like World of War Ships and World of Tanks, just War Trains. Um, I don't know how you'd manage it. Actually, to be fair, Battlefield 1 had that, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I really hated that thing. Anyway, this is coming in. That is now working. This is going along. And hopefully we will start to gain... Well, we are gaining the resources that we need, which you can see we've got 62 wood and 4 coal. Let me speed up to max speed and see what things are like in the longer term. Well, so far, I'm... Um um, it's strangely, it is the same game that I played, uh, you know, a couple of years ago, just with added performance increase, and it seems to... I think it does... You know what? Could be wrong, but I think it looks better. There's something... There's something, there's something extra, I think. I think. Um, could be wrong, but there you go. Uh, yeah, signals seem to work. Things all connect up. It's got that sort of board gamey feel with, like, the tokens going in there, and it's quite... Um, I don't know, it's... Uh, Less nebulous when it comes to the resources than other games. Quite like it. Quite like that. Yeah, and uh, there's loads of more eras as well, which is exciting. Would like to see people like wandering around the station and all of that sort of thing. That would be uh, quite nice. Do I really want to get that freight station? Mm, it probably would be where to go. Uh, there's deliver 100, uh, 120 sawmill there. And now we've got to deliver 200 units of coal to any toolbox, we're doing that. Uh, and we've also got delivery timber, 220 toolbox, so we're, we're doing that as well. How is our production over here, anyway? Uh, it does say it's turning that over, no, turning it into uh, what we need there. Well, you can see it actually functioning, so it's coming through, getting sawn, and then 
and sort of rolls into there. Oh, there we go. There's the obviously getting dropped off. So we've got two coal coming over there and just the one timber. So we need to sort the timber out. Let me let me do just that. So over to here once again, station, and we'll have a station um, near this forest. So we'll have it coming along like so, and then we'll have the track coming right across, and it will connect up to to here. Um, which will require that there and that there. Alright, and then we'll place that one there as well. Once again, there's only going to be one line coming along. So that should do us. And I have got this depot, which should mean that hopefully then, we can say engines, get the porter, and it will be four of them. Orders there. And then over to there. That's probably the longest distance that we need to travel there. Uh, so we're on to December now. And yeah, look at all the, all the snow goes on the trees and stuff. And the, all the deciduous ones lose the leaves. And the evergreens are just swaying in the wind. Actually, they're not. They're completely stationary. No, I lied. They are swaying. They are swaying. Nice. Right, so that's coming out of there. Let's uh, speed up to see if that works as we would expect. Pass there. That comes out. That's going to pick up the logs, go down there. Don't really need to upgrade the station. So, there we are. And we now have 82. 82. Oh, hang on, what's happening here? Uh-oh! We've got a problem. Right. What's happened? What's happened here, then? Right, you. Reverse. What's happened here? It's come out. Ah! Okay, uh, right. I guess a signal then. Oh, why have you gone that way? I guess it could only go that way. Uh, that can go there. And that can go there. And that should hopefully fix the problem, because that's going to stop there. This one... That's going to stop there. This one's going to go through here. That one's going to follow it, and that's going to go... Please be the case. <laughs> uh, it might not. It might not. Can we see that? That did trip for a second there. Let's see, I might have to change that to a one-way signal. And same as that one. Oh, yes, yeah, so we can't have that. That is definitely wrong, actually. That is correct. And that is correct, I think. I think that's about right. It's fixed the issue at the moment, so that's all I'm really concerned with. And I think we will have this and get freight station. I just want to see what it looks like. Do you have a crane on it? Ah, oh, we don't. Disappointed. <laughs> uh, that's loading speed 200%. I assume it is loading and unloading, but I don't know. Uh, and a waiting room we could technically put in as well. That also increases the... Uh, loading speed. Let's just place one on the end because it might look cool. There we go. That's a really big station now. So we've got cargo and goods. We've got train station. Yeah, it's all, it's all good. It's all good. Right. Um, I think we will leave it there. That has been a bit of a shinky. Um, yes, improvements. Happy, nice. In yeah, yeah. Uh, that's good. I enjoyed that. Uh, it runs a lot better than what it did, which was my, I think, my main concern back in the day and why I sort of held off playing it for a little bit of time. Um, sort of upset at myself that I haven't played it up until now because I really want to play some more of it. <laughs> it's um, very easy to build stuff. It's very enjoyable. The track placements uh, is good. The signals seem to function and are readable. Um, still unsure about certain placements of them and obviously a lot of the problems with things not going where they should be is due to my incompetence with them but obviously that all comes in time um, happy with how easy they were to to uh, get around and stuff and I do like the resource type thing um, that yeah I don't know something about the has a board gamey type feel I can't quite put my finger on it and I'm not eloquent enough to explain exactly what I mean but yeah does feel a bit like that. Is that are these growing? No, I'm not too sure. It would like it would be nice to see people wandering around in carts and as the eras progress, see like uh, different things changes, which I believe is a transport fever um, 
type of thing. They do have that as well. But yeah, there you go. That's been a bit of Mashinki. Enjoyed that. I think I'm going to be playing some more. If you would like to see more, then by all means, let me know. And we will go from there. <laughs> Hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.